Okay, Liam. Well, first of all, how delighted are you to be here at Dundee United, and how's your first uh, few days been going? Yeah, I'm uh, really excited to be honest. Um, I've obviously been in Scotland a while now, and you know I know what sort of club uh, Dundee United is, and all you know history, and um, you know where they want to get back to. So you know, just really, really excited to uh, get started with games, and uh, you know I've loved my first couple of weeks. And obviously Dundee United are desperate to go back to the Premiership at the first time of asking. How much do you feel that you can be an integral part of that? Yeah, well, certainly hope so. I mean, um, like you've mentioned there, you know, that's definitely our aim, but there's ten other, well, nine other teams trying to do the exact same, so um, certainly won't be easy, but um, I feel as though early signs are good in training, you know, everyone's pulling it in the right direction and we seem to have a good team spirit, so yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we can kick on. And what was it about Dundee United that you know attracted you here? Obviously, it's, it's a huge club, and they'll feel that you know they are a, a team that should be in the Premiership. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, like I just mentioned before, you know, everyone in Scotland knows the history of Dundee United. You know, um, and while I've been up here, you know, they've been maybe probably not where they wanted to be, to be honest. Um, but it's obviously our job to uh, try and get the club back to where it, you know, where it belongs and where it wants to be. And Jim Goodwin said before, you know. They need a certain type of player in the, in the championship. Do you feel that you have those attributes to, to be a force to be reckoned with in that league? Yeah, well, um, I obviously played at championship last year, and um, you know I feel I feel as though I've got a sort of game where whichever you know whichever league I play, in, I'll always I'll always give hundred percent, and um, you know I, I feel as though I can adapt really to to whatever sort of league. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to think I can um, you know play my part this season and. Um, you know, it's obviously a team effort, so we're all open to do that. Obviously, the managers brought in three players, including yourself, that performed really well in the championship last season. How, how important do you think that is? That you, you know, this will be an unknown situation for a number of the players in the group here. How important is it that there is a nucleus of players that know what this league's all about? Yeah, I think it's very important. I think um, whichever league in. Uh, World football, I think whichever whichever league you look at, you do need a core of players who knows what it's all about. You know the tempo game and um, you know how, how games generally play out and how games are played. So you know having like a good core of players who have played it league and have you know done done quite well in league, it's um, you know I think it's an, an important thing. Obviously, Dundee United, by the very nature of the size and the history of the club, will be going into the season as the favourites to win the league. They'll be going into every game as the favourites to, to win it. Does that bring an added pressure and expectation? Can that be difficult to handle? I think it's definitely an expectation, um, you know, uh, like, you just, like you just said there about the um, size of the club and stuff. Every team who comes and plays us this year, you know, I'm sure they'll be probably up in the game, really, because it's, um, you know, coming to Tanada with a big crowd and stuff like that, it's, um, it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big thing for teams coming to play against us. So. We've got to make sure we're working even harder, really, than you know, than 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 usual, because it's not easy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it comes with that added pressure, and hopefully we're uh, we're up to it. Hi, Liam. Um, the manager said last season, great bunch of guys, but the team was too nice. Are you going to be the Mister Nasty, if you like, that can add a bit of kind of bite to the midfield? Well, I don't know about that. I'll you know put my foot in on that, but. Just an honest player, really. You know, I'll, um, I'll be, I'll be getting stuck in on that, but won't be anything ridiculous. But yeah, that's put my foot in. I mean, I mean, hard but fair. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, of course. Yeah. I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that that kind of mentality, the battling mentality. How important could that be in getting you out of the championship? In case of you know, win the win the win the battle before you can win the war, sort of thing. Definitely, I think that's case in any football game that you play. You know, no one. You're not gonna go on. You're not gonna go and take Mickey out of anyone. Do you know what I mean? Whoever you're playing now, everyone's fit in football. Everyone can get about pitch. You know, everyone can get stuck in quick. You know, so it's there's very little between teams now, and uh, you know we need to first and foremost win that battle, and then you know hopefully our football can uh, you know win the day. Really come out on top. You're a, a, obviously a very experienced guy. What what have you made in your time here so far of some of the um, you know, the talented youngsters are a terrific crop here, isn't there? No, there definitely is, yeah. I've been really impressed with some of the young lads. Um, obviously, it's only in training, so um, when you get into games, that's when you, you know, you see whether young lads sink or swim, really. But they seem like good lads, they're all working hard, and um, 
you know, I think there's some real talent there, so hopefully they can uh, go on do it when it comes to the games. And, and how important is it that you know <coughs> you use your experience to help these youngsters through because it's you know it's going to be a big season for their development, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, when you have got young lads in the team, it's important that um, you know the more experienced older players um, sort of encourage them really and bring them along because as you know through a season there'll be ups and downs um, personally for players and obviously as a team as well. So. It's just important uh, we stick together and uh, if everyone's pulling it in the right direction then you give yourself half a chance. Brilliant. You're maybe not familiar, or the fans are maybe not familiar with you very much, yeah. but if you were writing a social media bio to yeah. sell yourself to the fans, what would be in it? Um, probably like I've just said there, you know, I, I'm an hard working player but I'd like to think I, you know, I, I, can, I can produce on ball as well. I've not played midfield as much as I've you know, maybe wanted to in my career. Um, so hopefully I get given that chance here I can um, you know, kick on and take my game to the next level really The, the fans at Dun United are very enthusiastic and very vocal and, and, and good at how does that make you feel as a player being able to play in front of as, you know, a fan base like that? Oh yeah it's massive I mean I think first and foremost as players ourselves we need to um, you know, we need to give them something to shout about and if you can if you can do that, if you can get the fans on side, especially at a club like Dundee United with that, you know, um greater fan bitters and it only helps in general really, do you know what I mean? It's it can only it's almost like a twelfth man off off the field, aren't it? Do you know what I mean? It can only help us on the field. So yeah, it's great to be uh, you know, coming playing against uh, in front of a big crowd. And and looking towards the new season obviously for yourself. Quick turnaround, the Play Cup just round the corner, yep. first league game against Ardoth on the 4th of August. This close season for you players must be getting shorter and shorter. How do you adapt to that? Yeah, well, to be fair, I had quite a decent amount of time off. Um, you know, we're finishing finish the season at Morton. I think we finished off 5th of May or something like that. But I know that lads here, they were playing right up until the end of May, weren't they? So, like you just said there, I think the uh, sport in general now, there's basically no seasons in any sport. You know, like you still see. England under 21s are playing at the moment, you know, they've not had a rest them lads, so that's just how the game's gone really and I think, you know, that's why fitness is such a big big thing now in football and um, squads as well, you know, having a decent size squad and stuff, so yeah, it's you know probably not ideal for some of the lads, but um, certainly worse things to be doing. <laughs>